In the vast expanse of the universe, intelligence is a rare and precious commodity. It's the driving force behind the creation of civilizations, the unraveling of nature's mysteries, and the quest to understand our own existence. But what exactly is intelligence, and how did it come to be? Today, we embark on a captivating journey through time, tracing the evolutionary origins of intelligence and the remarkable breakthroughs that paved the way for the rise of the human mind. The story of intelligence begins over 4 billion years ago with the emergence of the first living organisms on Earth. Even the simplest single-celled life forms, such as bacteria, exhibited a rudimentary form of intelligence. They could sense changes in their environment, such as the presence of nutrients or toxins, and respond accordingly. This ability to process information and adapt behavior based on external stimuli was the foundation upon which all future intelligence would be built. As life evolved and diversified, so did the complexity of intelligence. The next significant milestone was the development of multicellularity, which allowed for the specialization of cells and the emergence of more sophisticated sensory and motor functions. This set the stage for the evolution of the nervous system, a centralized network of cells dedicated to processing and transmitting information throughout the body. The first true nervous systems appeared in ancient jellyfish-like creatures, consisting of a diffuse network of neurons. While primitive, these early nervous systems allowed for more rapid and coordinated responses to environmental stimuli. Over time, this simple network gave rise to more centralized structures, such as nerve cords and ganglia, which eventually led to the evolution of the brain. One of the most significant breakthroughs in the history of intelligence was the evolution of learning. The ability to acquire new knowledge and skills based on experience is a hallmark of intelligence, and it first emerged in simple invertebrates. Even creatures as primitive as sea slugs and flatworms were found to be capable of associative learning, forming connections between stimuli and outcomes. In the famous experiments of Ivan Pavlov, dogs were conditioned to salivate at the sound of a bell, having learned to associate it with the presence of food. This type of learning, known as classical conditioning, demonstrated that animals could modify their behavior based on the relationships between events in their environment. But learning is not just about forming associations. It's also about the ability to generalize and apply knowledge to new situations. This is where the evolution of the brain truly began to accelerate. As brains became larger and more complex, they developed the capacity for more flexible and abstract forms of learning. The most significant leap forward in the evolution of intelligence came with the rise of mammals. The mammalian brain with its distinctive neocortex represented a quantum leap in cognitive abilities. The neocortex, with its six layers of neurons and intricate network of connections, endowed mammals with the ability to process and integrate information in entirely new ways. One, one of the most remarkable features of the mammalian brain is its capacity for mental simulation. Rather than simply reacting to stimuli in the present moment, mammals could create rich inner models of the world, imagining different scenarios and their potential outcomes. This allowed them to plan, predict, and make decisions based on mental representations of reality. The evolution of the neocortex also gave rise to a host of other cognitive abilities, such as attention, memory, and executive control. Mammals could focus their perception on specific aspects of their environment, store, and retrieve information over long periods, and regulate their behavior based on goals and intentions. But perhaps the most significant innovation of the mammalian brain was the emergence of social cognition. Mammals, particularly primates, developed the ability to recognize and interpret the mental states of others. They could engage in complex social interactions, form alliances, and communicate through facial expressions and body language. As primates evolved, their brains continued to expand and specialize. The primate brain, with its enlarged frontal lobes and highly developed visual system, was particularly well suited for complex social cognition. Primates could not only recognize and respond to the emotions and intentions of others, but also engage in deception, manipulation, and strategic thinking. But the true breakthrough in primate cognition came with the evolution of language. Language allowed for the transmission of complex ideas and abstractions, enabling primates to share knowledge and coordinate their behavior in unprecedented ways. With language, primates could not only communicate about the present, but also about the past, the future, and the hypothetical. The evolution of language was a gradual process, beginning with simple vocalizations and gestures, and progressively becoming more complex and symbolic. The development of a fully-fledged linguistic system, with its grammar, syntax, and semantics, was a watershed moment in the history of intelligence. 
It allowed for the creation of shared cultural knowledge, the preservation of information across generations, and the emergence of abstract thought. The culmination of this evolutionary journey is the human mind, a cognitive powerhouse unrivaled in the natural world. With our large and highly interconnected brains, we have taken the capacity for intelligence to new heights. We can not only reason, plan, and imagine, but also engage in scientific inquiry, artistic expression, and philosophical contemplation. But the story of intelligence is far from over. As we stand on the brink of a new era, with the rise of artificial intelligence and the potential for cognitive enhancement, we find ourselves at a crossroads. The choices we make in the coming years will shape the future of intelligence in ways we can scarcely imagine. Will we create machines that rival or even surpass human intelligence? Will we use technology to augment our own cognitive abilities, pushing the boundaries of what is possible for the human mind? These are the questions that will define the next chapter in the history of intelligence. As we reflect on the long and winding path that led to the emergence of the human mind, we can't help but be filled with a sense of awe and wonder. The story of intelligence is a story of incremental steps and momentous leaps, of simple beginnings and complex endings. It's a testament to the power of evolution, the creativity of nature, and the boundless potential of life. But it's also a reminder of the responsibility we bear as the most intelligent species on the planet. We have the power to shape the future of intelligence, to create new forms of cognition, and to use our minds for good or for ill. As we stand at this pivotal moment in history, let us remember the lessons of our evolutionary past and use them to guide us towards a brighter future. The history of intelligence is still being written and its most exciting chapters may be yet to come. With curiosity, imagination, and wisdom, we can continue to push the boundaries of what is possible, unlocking new frontiers of knowledge and understanding. The story of intelligence is the story of life itself, and it's a story that is far from over.